Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to 90 and Out. On this episode, we're covering Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 13. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. And here's 90 seconds. So, Jesus of Nazareth continues his Sermon on the Mount. It's the longest sermon uh, delivered by Jesus, and it's the longest speech recorded in the Christian Bible. He's talking about an allegory here between the wide path and the narrow path. Uh, the wide path, it's easy, it's comfortable. You just kind of go through life and go with the flow. But ultimately, it's for naught. It's um, vanity. As the um, preacher in Ecclesiastes says, all is vanity, vanity of vanities, nothing new under the sun. And Jesus is echoing that sentiment here with the wide path, saying many people go down the wide path, numerous people, all kinds of people, but it only leads to death. It only leads to wasted life. There's nothing to gain from it. Uh, but he goes on and says, but there's hope, there's good news, and the good news is there's a narrow path, and that path few people find, few people follow it, but that path leads to life. And for the longest time I thought these were two completely different paths in life, but the older I get the more I realize that the narrow path is just going in the opposite direction of the wide path. It's right down the middle, and it's just going in the opposite direction. It's fighting through the crowd and standing on truth. And that is 90 seconds, and we're out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please comment below if there's a, a passage you'd like me to cover or you'd like to engage in conversation concerning the wide and the narrow path. Please check out the other videos on my YouTube channel, and may God richly bless you today.